Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Unix. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn one of the interesting functionality of Unix and that is nothing but VI Editor. So let's start today's tutorial. What is VI Editor and what is the use of it? The VI Editor is used to create, read and edit files. By using such a simple vi command, we can create completely new file. So we don't have command called as a make file. We have the make directory mkdir, but we don't have make file. So how to create a file? In order to create file, we have to use vi tool or vi commands. The vi command not only help us to create a file, but also it can read file. It can also edit the existing files. Advantages available on all the flavors of unix system implementations are very similar across the board requires very few resources more user friendly than other editors such as ed or ex options with vi editor we have to just use vi and the file name it will create a new file if the file is already exists then it will open the file then we have the other option vi hyphen capital r file name open an existing file in read only mode or we can simply use via view file name which will use to view the file for example right now i am in this currently a pictures directory and we have various files if you use just vi and give the name i am giving the name as vi test txt and it will open a file at the bottom you can see the file vi test.tx is getting going to get created how to save this file so those are the things we are going to see in detail so we we can create a file using vi editor using vi command and the name of file vi editor modes there are two modes first is command mode and the second is insert mode command mode enables us to perform administrative activities such as saving the files executing the commands moving the cursor cutting and pasting the lines or words finding and replacing so these are the kind of administrative work which can be used or which can be done in command mode in this mode whatever we type is interpreted as a command so make sure if you are in command mode if you are typing anything, it will be treated as a command. Then we have the insert mode. In the insert mode of the VI editor, it will enable us to insert the text into the file. Or rather, I would say it will enable us to edit the file. Everything that is typed in this mode is interpreted as an input text and not a command. Things to remember, we are always start in command mode. So whenever we when when we type vi vi test.txt, it is open one file that is empty file, but it is in the command mode and not in insert mode. To enter a text or make it insert mode, we have to use escape button and then we have to type i. It will go into the insert mode. To come out of the insert mode, we have to press escape key, which will take us back to command mode if you are not sure which mode we are currently in then you have to just type two times escape key it will take us to the command mode how to get out of the vi editor we have to use quit command that is simply colon q it will quit the file without saving now if you want to save the file we have to use w command but let's have little more details on the quit command if file has been modified in any way the editor will warn and not let you quit to ignore the message the command to quit out of vi without saving it is q uh, colon q and ex exclamatory mark this will quit the file without warning you this let us exit file without saving any of the changes how to save the file in order to save the file you have to use comma or oh sorry colon w command if you want to save and quit the file you have to use colon w q the easiest way to save the file and quit the file is capital z capital z 
it is the equivalent to colon wq command to specify any particular name of files we can just specify after colon wq for example colon wq test file to it will create a another test file to so these are the details about the vi editor now how to move the cursor but before going to move the cursor let's try some commands here so now i am in the just use the vi vi test let's type if you try to type anything it will i just typed insert i button let me go here back let me quit it so you know to quit you have to just q no right since last time this so this is the warning you are getting so you can again type q and colon uh, exclamation mark it will not complain rather it will just come out of the file let me try one more time but let's try to ls it the file is not created yet because we have not saved so let's try to create one more time this time what we'll do we'll save the file so just do escape colon w so this will save the file but we are not able to quit so this file is empty no zero lines zero count let's me do the colon w for saving q for quitting the file and out so you will be out of this file but the file is saved how to check to the ls now i can see the vi test file is created let's edit this file in order to edit this file you have to use vi vi test.txt use enter let's type some content here in order to type you have to go to insert mode right now i'm take a uh, command mode because whatever you type it will be treated as a command so in order to go to the insert mode you have to use in escape i it will go into the insert mode how to check it is insert mode at the bottom you can see the insert so that means you are in the insert mode let's try some words here welcome to technology guru world excellent if you want to go to the next line press enter button hello world and enter now suppose you write some content and you want to save this file in order to save this file use escape button colon w it will save the file you can see the two lines 47 characters now let's do uh, create this file Co escape colon wq enter and it will keep it if you do the ls if you do the ls minus ltr you will see the vi test file is created and the size is 47 byte so these are the details now how to move the cursor so in order to move the cursor there are various options available the key k or the character k the key k uh, the key of letter k can be used to move the cursor up one line character j is used or key j is used to move the cursors down h is used to move the cursor left l is uh, is used to move the right so let's try this option let's first we'll go to the inside file now in the command mode you have to be in command mode to the move the cursor if you put the k it will go up if you j it will go down k is up j is down l is forward h is backward if you do l l l again it will go to the forward if you use h h h it will go to the backward so it is easy way to navigate in the file let me go into the insert mode of course you can use the up down forward backward keys also to move the cursor it's not necessarily you have to use the keys only this is my first file created using vi editor i'll write some more line such a wonderful day today 
and I'll just save this file wq and the file gets saved now the rest of things about the moving cursors as we know uh, these four key or key keywords can be used to move the cursor up and down there are some other options also available with vi editor o or pipe it will position the cursor at the beginning of line so let's try with o i'm at the top let me go to the the third line i'm going at middle of something suppose you want to go to the beginning of the line press o on the next line and you can ins actually you are in insert mode it will go and type into the insert mode it will go into the insert mode let's try one more time escape so if you use the pipe character it will go to the beginning but you have to be in command mode so right now in command mode because at the bottom i can't see the insert and if you use shift pipe command it will go to the start of the line similarly there are various like dollar position the cursor at the end of line <coughs> so if you use the dollar i'm using shift and dollar sign it is going at the end of the line w position the cursor to the next word so for example let me go here and let me type w it is going to the next keyword similarly we have the bracket which position the cursor to the beginning of the current statement b is to position the cursor to the previous word position uh, the bracket simple bracket closing bracket which is position the cursor to the beginning of the next sentence capital e moves to the end of the blank delimited word open curly bracket moves the paragraph back close curly bracket moves the paragraph forward double rectangle bracket moves a section back double closing bracket moves a section forward n pipe moves to column n in the current line 1g moves the line first line of the file g moves the line of a file ng moves the nth line of the file colon n moves the nth line of the file fc moves the forward to c fc capital fc moves to back to c h moves the top of the screen and h moves the nth line from the top of the screen m moves to the middle of the screen l moves to the bottom of the screen and l moves to the nth line of the bottom of the screen colons x colon followed by number would position the cursor on the line represented by x so for example if you want to move to the head like you have to use capital h it will go to the top if you want to go to the bottom you can use capital l it will be at the end if you want to use third line let's do colon 3 it will go to third line suppose if you do colon 2 it will go to the second line so these are the colon x corner h if you want to go to the 3 h control 3 h so it will go to the third line if you use you want second line from the bottom you have to use 2 capital l it will go automatically so by this way i'm not just doing suppose you want to go for the second line from the top to capital H it will automatically go so if you want to use from the top or head if you want to medium means at the mid of the, the section you can use capital F it will go to the center of the file or made uh, it will do the middle of the screen so these are the very simple commands but it's very easy use the Q for tweeting use the W for saving the files I hope this tutorial is help to it is going to help you to create the file, edit the file, save as well as the quit the file. If you have any questions or queries about Unix tutorial and if you want to learn some more interesting things about Unix then just mention in the comment section of this video. Thank you again and have a nice time.